Whoa, welcome back. Mm. Wait. Am I on the other side of the puzzle complete? Wait a second, guys. Welcome back to Puzzle Mania. I was just going to fill you in. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little bit darker. Um, it's been days since I've last played this puzzle map. I just woke up and I'm on the other side of this door. I didn't do anything. I, I, I mean, I couldn't just game mode in. I'm, I'm just a... And then the water falls. Okay, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Puzzle Mania here on the channel. If you guys have not seen episode one, you might be a little bit confused right now. Check the description and you can get filled in. I mean, I feel weird. It's, it's, it's dark out now. I just woke up. So we ran out of coffee. Such a shame. In fact, I think we're running out of everything. Bill, I don't think, was a part of that. Maybe when he was going out checking for coffee, someone stepped in and maybe helped me out. Maybe this other survivor? I think I have an idea, though, on how to fix that. Just continue solving the puzzles. Don't mind me. All right, very interesting. Um, oh, my lord. I was like, why am I not hearing sound? I mean, th this is how long I've been out. My, my flip and speak, my, my headphones aren't even plugged in. That's crazy. Okay. We're back here. Slime ball puzzle. Five of ten. We're just going to continue. Like, that didn't happen. So, yeah. Welcome back, guys. Obviously, if you are enjoying Puzzle Mania, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. I'm going to return these slime balls. I believe two of them in here. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Let's figure out what in the world we're doing here. Um, so welcome to another puzzle. Puzzle Mania, if you guys do not know, just to give a little bit of a summary, is a really cool puzzle map. It's a second installment, all explained in the first episode. So make sure you go check that out. We are stuck doing puzzles for this mad guy. Uh, we call him Bill, but who knows who he is. Toss a slime ball in there. That's going to go ahead and get stuck. Let's take a look. What we need to do is we need to get this slime ball into these hoppers. That's not good. We want to do this first. There goes the slime ball. No, and then... Uh, okay. Hmm. We messed up this time. We got to bring a little bit of a water spout there. That's going to toss us back. That's going to slime ball return. Okay, so it's going to go into here. Most likely, give it a second. And I believe the slime ball... Yes, yeah, so we can't right-click that. And if we give this just a second... Oh, it di wow, it didn't even go. All right, let's go ahead and push that along. There we go. Now it's flowing in. We messed up. We're going to give that another shot. There's our slime ball. It's been returned. I think we know how to do this puzzle now, though, so don't worry. I am confident in our abilities. Let's go ahead and toss that slime ball in. There we go. It's in, and we're going to go quickly. Just get to the bottom here without breaking our legs. And uh, give this another shot. So it's not this button. Oh, it is that button. Straight into this button. There we go. And then straight into that button. All right. We need to get some water flow. There it is. We got to do that one more time. It doesn't seem to be pushing the slime ball as much as we would like. There we go. Come on. Give it a... Oh, a little bit better. All right, let's get some more water flowing. Let's get some more water flowing. I'm going to sit on my legs because solving puzzles is hard work. Boom, switch. Give it a moment. And... All right, let's get a little bit more water flowing. Let's get that the veins going. Boom, pop that in. Oh, I totally did not stand on the other pressure plate. I don't know what I was thinking. Get some water flowing. Switch on over. Let the rest flow. That should push the slime ball into the dropper. And we get two more slime balls. So, 
think either way you get what you want. You know what I mean? Either way. Uh, now we're going to have to possibly parkour into this open spot, maybe. Um, that, that, that just hurt just a little bit. Let's try that again. All right, and hook. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be the way to do it. There's obviously maybe some sort of pressure plate somewhere that might give us an edge on how to get up there. Do we want to try another one of these and get it? I mean, I think either way you're going to get your two your two slimes, you know what I mean? This is obviously to get the return in. Um, let's do a little bit of exploring, see if maybe we get to the top of these ladders or come on now come on swim up them ladders swim swim like a mama taught you come on now all right this is literally just this up here okay so how do we get into this area i don't think you can just kind of whoop there we go okay aha toss toss it's gonna open up these door and i believe we're moving on to the next puzzle so, I read a fun fact about the planet Mercury. Apparently, it has the largest range in temperature from hot to cold in our solar system. That has nothing to do with the puzzle you're about to do. I just thought that it was an interesting fact. The stuff you find back here. I never knew any of it existed. Turns out we had a library filled with books and stuff, so I could become a genius if I wanted to. This guy seems like he has a lot of time on his hands to do stuff. I feel like he should be explaining more about what in the world I'm doing here. Uh, and not alluding to the weird ways in which I, I, I ended up here. And less about... How he wants to become a genius. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Alright. I believe... Oh, this is going to be a little difficult. If this is even the right way to do this. Maybe not. Let's come back here in a little bit. Um, ooh. Yeah, I do not think that this is possible. Um, in the allotted time. Hmm, okay, let's come back later. Um, unless this is like four... No, I don't think you can parkour that. Let's try one more time. Uh, no, alright. Uh, let's look around a little bit more on this puzzle floor, just to get a better idea of what we're working with here. Uh, we always like to explore before we try and solve. I don't know, I was getting a little angsty there. We're gonna open up that door. Doesn't look like it needs a lever, more like just uh, some sort of push. Uh, these as well. Looks like we're actually going to be stuck uh, in that section. Got to get a slime ball for that spot. Interesting. And this is obviously the entrance, but if we do head down here, this gives us a lever, uh, which can be placed on lapis, I believe. Can be placed on lapis uh, lazuli block. Okay. So where does that lapis lazuli block I'm not sure. I think we're, I think we're actually going to have to figure out how to do that little parkour section. Now, I might know a way to break it. I don't think that this works. No, you got to really stand yourself. Ooh. This is tough. Ah, yes! I got it. Okay, there we go. Uh, we got that lapis lazuli block. Put that, uh, put that lever on that. Let's just check up. I'm going to assume that it's these doors that opened. I was wrong, unfortunately. So let's head up to the top and let's see if uh, that door at the end of this hallway is available for us to get into. Most likely will give us a slime ball. Uh, let me just move this real quick because I did set up my legs. I'm a little bit taller now. Uh, grab this slime ball and we're going to head on down to the bottom here and uh, put this into all the way at the bottom. Correct? If I remember, if I remember correctly, just a little bit higher. Um, right here in this spot. Boom. That sh sounded like it was on this floor, but I believe it's these doors right here. And then we need... Ah, oh, I rushed to the end. Fantastic. Look at you go. You only got four more chambers to go in this series. I'm so proud. This next puzzle tests your agility. Think of it as an obstacle course. Well, it kind of is an obstacle course, a timed one at that. So good luck. Interesting. So, slime ball puzzle seven on ten. Start the clock reset. All right. So we got to go quickly here. Apparently, run as fast as we possibly can. I guess he's testing to see how fast we can run. We got some good sprinting abilities here. We can do this, I believe. Uh, slime. This is going all the way to the center. This clock, man, is a little terrifying. Trying not to hit any of these walls. Jump up here. Uh, 
Um, oh, head over here. Parkour up these ladders. Jump down, cross over. Ah, jump down, cross over. Uh, there we go. Land on the slime. Get up. Nice. Okay, we gotta go. Uh, I don't know how much time we have. The door is open still. The door is open. All right. Let's go. Oh, God, move on over. And... Oh, oh. I thought that was... I thought it closed. We're okay. There we go. All right, time trial complete. That was awesome. How long did it take you to beat that chamber? I wasn't paying attention. I'm too busy back here planning out something. Hmm. Anywho, you do this next puzzle while I keep thinking this through. Oh, you uh, <laughs> kind of disappeared on me. Oh, you will have to go for a bit of a swim, so I hope you're up for the challenge. He knows I'm up for the challenge. Come on. I did that last time, no problem, even though I hate doing underwater challenges. Whoa. Okay. So first off, let's go here. Oh, we have to just grab here real quick just to get some oxygen. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. All right, let's run to the edge of here. Probably get a little bit of a slime out of it. And what do we have here? A little bit of parkour, kind of, I guess. Just kind of swim on up these ladders. Okay, that is proving to be... There we go. Just hold sh hold control. Got to get right at the top of the bounce. There we go. And we got our slime ball. Awesome. Jump on back down. Swim on up. We got we got some in, we got some in abilities. We are still a little groggy, but that's okay. Um, we are rocking and rolling. And let me just go stand right here. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little bit of swimming. The lights turned on. I guess it's uh, it was time to wake up. We were able to get the lights on in my room. It's a little bit brighter. Oh boy, we're gonna make this. I think we should not have a problem. There we go. A little bit of a current to push us through, which is nice. And another slime ball. That is two. Um, and counting. I think we got to head down over. Ooh, that current is filthy. Uh, there is another entry point. But let's jump on down here. Let's just hit this quick little water patch. Oh, let's just make sure we grab that for sure. Uh, let's just swim on down here and see what we need. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Breathe, breathe. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh. <sighs> that was close. All right, we're going to swim up in this direction. And uh, I believe this is actually where we came. So we're going to go straight and go up this hole. I think that's everything. One, two, three. Three slam balls, ready to rock and roll. We were ready to swim, came to the party, and uh, did not hesitate. So, one, two, three. Mm. <laughs> three. Yeah, there we go. And what do we have here? Not even the end of the level. We got to go back on down, jump on in, and go the way we came, I believe. Not sure what that is over there, but let's swim up the way we came, and I... I think I did see a lapis lazuli block um, before jumping in, and uh, that should lead us the way out here. So let's swim on up to the top, get a nice fresh breath of air, lapis block, and there we go. Moving on to the next chamber. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's so boring back here, honestly. Oh, now he's, now he's complaining. He just said he has so much stuff to do. Honestly, I know to you. I know to you. Uh, I'm just, I know to you, I'm just a voice on the intercoms, but try to picture being back in the boring room watching you fail your way through each puzzle I throw at you. Hey, it gets boring after a while. I pretty much read every book in the library. I don't really feel any smarter. I guess that means I was already a genius to begin with. Anyways, you finish the next puzzle. I'm going to go see if there's a charger nearby for my iPhone 16. Hmm, I guess it is definitely in the future. So let's go ahead and jump up here and uh, got some slime to take care of. That's to get back, so we don't need to do that. Instead, we can kind of adventure into this area. Anything behind here? Oh, a little bit of a diving board. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm not afraid. Let's do this. I am very well versed in the slime jumping. I am relatively well versed in the slime jumping world. I think I actually need to just skip the first one, go for the second one, and... This should be perfect. All right, there we go. If we jump up there, that also works. We got our slime ball. Why do we want to head up here? I guess this is to get above that wall. Shouldn't be too difficult. And jump. 
This should not be difficult either. And jump and oh, place that slime ball down on here. And we are ready to go. Progressing through the next level. Pretty simple stuff. Definitely just kind of warming up. That's for sure. So here we go. Let's go ahead and redo this explosion of slime. Jump off the tower. Should be a lot of fun. Here we go. Ooh, boing. And a boing. Almost jumped too far there and level complete. A little bit of slime, not bad, not bad. I hope these puzzles aren't becoming too much of a chore. Luckily, you only got one left in this series. After this puzzle, I'll let you take a break from the puzzle solving and let you focus on something else. I mean, that can benefit the both of us dramatically. All right, so we need a lever. You can tell. Lapis Azuli block out in the distance. That looks like it's the exit door and just a little bit of a maze. Now, kind of cheating with our... F5 here to see where to go. Doesn't look like it really matters, however. Just gonna have to find the chest hidden. That's a fake one, you little troll. All right, and there's a real lever. All right, awesome. So we found our lever. Uh, maze is complete. Let's head on out. Oh, geez. Um, let's head on out of here by going this way. It was totally right there the whole time. I feel kind of like a noob. Looks like this chamber is gonna be a little bit bigger than just one maze, though. So let's go ahead and just pop that on there. Grab that slime ball and move on. All right, so where are we, what are we working with here? What are we working with here? We got a slime to jump on. And, oh, baby, let's move in here. Hmm, we got to pop that up. So let's put that slime ball in here. This should pop up this area. Uh, this little block giving us the ability to parkour up on top into that little room there. Uh, give us a pop. Oh, there we go. Aha. I know exactly what's going on here. Jump. And another slime. So a slime to get a slime. But then we actually get to grab this one back. So it totally works. In the end, we have gained a slime today, boys. That's fantastic. All right, so jump up here. Oop, and, oop, and jump. What else do we need to do here? I think we actually need to go to the top. Ooh, an ender portal. Uh, we don't have to swim down there. But we do need two more slimes. Now... That looks like some sort of weird viewing area. Creepy son of a gun. Uh, but we do need to jump. Interesting. Okay, we're going to actually have to stay on the outside of this fence. Very carefully move our way on the edge. See if we can make this jump right here. A little bit of a difficult one. Let's go. Whoa, dangerous. But I like danger. Here we go. Jumping on these bad boys, grabbing another slime. We do need one more, however. Where is that fourth slime? I'm not sure. It's not going to be in there. Creepy viewing platform in there. Maybe all the way up this water spout. I mean, that's probably why it's there, right? Not just to get in the way. I wouldn't be surprised, however. So let's swim all the way up here to the top. And there's nothing. Is there something else hidden in the maze? Perhaps. Let's do a little bit of exploring, shall we? I mean, we might as well look around. Uh, that's a fake chest over here. Nothing in this quadrant. Over to the right side, we have maybe another... No, that's a fake chest. Something is telling me that there is nothing in here anymore. And that last slime is maybe where the water runs. Oh, fake chest over here. Probably, ah, the forest slime. We found it, guys. Don't worry. We are good to go. Let's jump. All right, so drop this bad boy in here. Oh, make sure we give him a nice little toss there. Come on. get Put your back into it, bro. All right. There we go. Oh, my Lord. Slime. There we go. You got it. And whoa. And whoa. Yeah. Okay, missed, and here we go, the final piece. The final piece. Not another portal. Just farther into the arena we go. Congratulations! You managed to complete all the puzzles in the Slime Ball series. You must be so proud. Alrighty, so normally I'd send you on your way to do the next series of puzzles, but I have a job for you to do. So we're going to go into a bit more of a detour. Remember when I mentioned we were running out of coffee? Well, we're running out of a lot of things back here. By running out, I mean there's nothing. Nada. So I'm going to let you take a break from the puzzles, and you are going to go to the facility's food processing unit and try to send some food and water on a conveyor belt all throughout the facility. All right? 
Do I have a choice? Now, before you think this is selfish of me, I just want you to understand that this will eventually benefit both of us in the long run, at least. Trust me. Do we trust him? I don't really think so. We'll see if we can use this to our advantage. So try to make your way on the food processing unit, and then after that, we can move on to the next series. Sounds like a good play game plan if you ask me. Again, don't really have a choice, but damn, we are moving into the facility. Pretty cool if you ask me. He's got cameras everywhere. Feeling pretty cool about this, though. Not bad, not bad. All right, so this door is open. So we can dip in here. He's got cameras watching me. All right, all right. Bring stands, cooking, as always. Nice, uh, we got the time over there. It's, uh, it's three. Music plays. And uh, let's see what we can do here. All right, so I'll open the doors uh, to this series once you get the food processor working again. Hmm, all right, so we got to figure out how to get the food processor to work. we got to figure out where the food processor is, exactly. Um, is it this thing? I don't think so. It's computers? I mean, who eats and works on the computers at the same time? Shame on them! Let's go over to the other side of the facility. It looks like we can head on down, and uh, that'll give us a better view. All right, art, I guess, painted by yours truly. Okay, good for you, dude. Good for you. Interesting. Always try and jump inside paintings. You never know what's hidden behind them. In terms of message and meaning through the art, or maybe just in actually behind them. <laughs> and, uh, alright, let's see here. So, there should be a key to this door around here somewhere. One of my scientists used to have one, so it should be in one of the rooms upstairs. Okay, probably in the office, I would say. Where exactly? I'm not entirely sure. Um, you probably left it in the sink. No? Alright. Um. I'm one of the scientists. I mean, this does look like one of the rooms for the scientists, but maybe that's not where he left the key. Let's see here. Maybe he left it in the kitchen, perhaps? I mean, that's a very good forgetful place to do it. I mean, I know it is ten years later, but let's check inside of here. A little bit more thoroughly. Alright. Fortunately, we don't see anything. Ah! Aha! He left it under the table. Well, I mean, I guess it fell there. Cleaning crew obviously didn't pick it up, but that's okay, we did. <laughs> uh, even though there was some dust. We'll get over it. Even though I'm actually allergic to dust, I'll pretend not to be. There we go. We got the key. Chapter 3. Order up. Alright. All right, there should be a way to the food processor unit from here. Most of the intercoms work down this way, so I'll keep in touch. Good luck. Try not to trip over anything. I'll do my best. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, so these hallways are closed. Love the style of this building. I think they did a great job with it. Um, you know, as a tester, I've never seen anything but the test chambers, but would have liked to have worked here maybe one day. Found a lever laying around, or at least a key. Going to probably have to use this in the near future, just like that. And let's see. Oh, very interesting. Very nice. Maybe some sort of a lounge area. Going down. Going up. Study lab. Simulation room. Ah, the elevators. I'm pretty sure they still work. I think so. Nothing to worry about. Good to know. All right, well, let's head uh, down first. Whoa. Why not? All right, only one person elevators. Interesting. <laughs> it's a very uh, useful elevator. So let's see what we need to do here. Simulation room. Okay. So you want to get the food processor to work, but unfortunately it looks like we need a key to get in there. Might have to go upstairs for that key. Unless it is laying around here somewhere. I mean, wouldn't we want to come to the simulation area first? Let's head back upstairs and see what we can find in the other area. Just at least so we know what we're working with here. Uh, so simulation room, study lab. So let's check the study lab out. All right, and uh, there should be a key laying around here for sure. To enter the labs, uh, enter the lab, two scientists must press buttons at once. Now, they say that both buttons have to be pressed at once, but there's a bit of a small delay in the system. I'm pretty sure you can trigger the mechanism if you hit both buttons fast enough. All right. Uh... Ooh, not even close to fast enough. Oh boy, this is tough. Huh. 
Alright, let's try again. Come on. Not fast enough. Okay, it's getting intense. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Buttons are being pressed as fast as they could possibly be pressed. Yeah. Okay, let's try with this one first. Two. Moving on. <laughs> what in the world? All right, there's our lever. Either way, let's move on. I'm not gonna ask questions. It worked. It worked. I just want to get this guy's god darn food. You know what I mean? It's just it's time to move on. Um, and I'm just uh, it's just he's, he's being annoying. It's just always oh, where's the food? It's like, dude, bro, can you just chill out? I'm doing the fastest I can do for someone that I honestly don't even really like. I mean, I don't, do we like him? I don't think so. You let me know what you think. I think we could do without him, to be honest. All right, so. Ah, uh, yes, this room does look familiar to you. It's the simulation room. You know, the one you woke up in when I first introduced myself 10 years ago. Ah, uh, man, the memories are flowing through my head. Simulation is, however, turned off, so don't expect any sunny blue skies or anything. Should be a way out of here somewhere. The food processing is always pretty close to here. If you guys have no idea what this place is, this is so cool. I'm just going to take a moment, man. This is, this is how you started off um, the first Puzzle Mania. Was uh, in a room just like this with the blue skies, of course. Um, and uh, we're back. A simulation room. <laughs> it's brilliant. But no, seriously. Uh, time to be serious. So we're going to jump on down here. Out. Don't break our legs. Try and find a way out of here. Now, if I remember correctly, in the first Puzzle Mania, uh, probably not going to be hidden in the trees, you had to go into the well. And the well was a lever. So there you go. Uh, nothing has really changed, I guess. We will be able to use this lever just like we did originally. Um, and then I believe there was also another lever hidden here. There we go. Uh, and now we can use these levers. I think you go back to your main house. Let's just look around. Another lever. All right, so we're up to three levers, which is interesting. Maybe really only needed one, um, but they put them in multiple places. And uh, this is obviously where you start. Uh, there is nothing in here. So how are we going to use these levers? Uh, that's the question. We might have to go back into the simulation room. Uh, but let's dip in. There was, yeah, the corner where this happened. Oh, we actually needed all three levers. And guess what? We wrecked it. There you go, guys. We are at the food processing unit. Let's go on up to the important room. Get this guy. He's gosh darn food. All right, so what seems to be the issue here? Oh, good, you made it. Welcome to the food processing unit. Now, you might be wondering why a facility built for puzzle solving would have its own unit for making food, but in order to supply food this far down beneath the surface, it'd be too expensive. So we make our own food and send it all around the facility. All you have to do now is turn on. No big deal. So we're all the way underground, I guess, which makes me a little bit concerned. Okay, uh, flick to spawn animal. Uh, we used to breed our own animals to make our food. I kind of miss those days back when these hallways would be filled with scientists doing a bunch of experiments and stuff. Oh, well. The past is in the past. Well, the past isn't in the past when you're cryogenically frozen, dude. Come on. And uh, that pretty much seems to be all that this room is. So let's go ahead and spawn a cute little animal. Okay. Yep. Don't expect any living animals in this facility. No one's been around to fear take care of them for five years. So, yeah. All right. All right, so it looks like it's all worked out. Doors have been opened for the next series of puddles, so you're, puzzles you're gonna have to break. You're gonna have to backtrack your way back there, so I hope it's not a problem. So I'll talk to you again when you get to the next series. All right, good. The conveyor belt is going off to our good old friend. Seems to be a freezer. I think the chests have been frozen shut as they are not opening. I wonder if we can heat this place up. I doubt there's a way. Hmm. 
Maybe later on we can come back and heat that room up. Maybe open up those chests and see what lies inside. Oh, for now at least food is flowing. We can move on. Let's go ahead and hit this pressure plate. It's kind of funny. On one side of the room, you'd have the staff taking care of the animals, breeding them, giving them attention, all that fun stuff. And on this side of the room, you'd have them all chopping the animals into delicious meaty slices on the table. It's definitely how things work in our society. That's for sure. I guess things haven't changed even with the iPhone 16 out. Time for us to um, head on back and go on to the next puzzle. So let's see here. Food processing unit. Head on back. Hello there, levers. Conveyor belt is moving and working all throughout the facility. It's kind of loud. Assuming it wasn't working like this all day. I don't know. I would never work here. It was all loud. I guess when you have people walking around, it's probably a lot more quiet now that I'm the only person walking around this vacant facility. So let's head on up or down, actually. Um, and then we're going to be heading back to the other facilities. Got to get to that door, which I believe is this way. Uh, over to the first part of this arena or area. Arena. <laughs> like it's a battle arena. We're not in a battle arena. And uh, head to the left. Uh, is it down? It is It is down, right? Just up this way, and there we go. The door should be open at the end of the hallway. So that's going to be this episode of Puzzle Mania, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. We got the third part coming up. The second puzzle coming up should be a lot of fun. Next series is going in. The elemental puzzles focuses on putting you in a dangerous environment. Mother Nature can throw at you, so be prepared. I'll meet you up ahead in the first chamber. Good luck. If you guys enjoy, hit that like button. Check back the first episode. The next episode coming out in a couple days. I will see you guys later. Take care and happy puzzling. <laughs>